we've got our two lane analog set here it's the smallest set that we sell we got our control panel with a blue and yellow controller we got our cars they're actually labeled with blue and yellow at the moment and that's the sort of slot car track that most people are accustomed to one car per lane well we've removed the uh, analog section here and we're just going to demonstrate what you can do if you want to go digital there's exactly the same layout only now we have a digital section in there we also have a new digital console with a wired controller and a wireless controller so Pete's going to flick that on for me so the cars are off and they're in ghost mode at the moment that means that they are going around by themselves and they'll randomly change lanes like the blue one just did then so if you decide that you want to participate as well Pete's going to grab the green car now and go with the wireless controller he's going to throw that on the track and he's going to race with those cars as well now on a system like this you can race up to six cars plus two ghost cars so in total you can race about eight cars oh look at that real live action as it happens okay okay we're back now and we've just added this section here where it's got two double crossovers and it's got the added pit lane where the car can come in go past the fuel sensor refuel and then exit again now this is the piece that we just moved away so I'm just going to clamp that up there's a clamp underneath so that's ready to go come around this side we're just going to clamp him up as well there we go now we'll flick the unit on we got our blue and yellow car on there in ghost mode so away they go they're randomly changing lanes going around the circuit and the uh, unique feature of this is obviously the pit lane so Pete's going to start up the green car again for us and he's using the wireless controller one more time driving around it's obviously got to be in the right lane so you've got to make sure that you're in the right lane to actually get into the pit lane there we go so he's now able to refuel and then exit the pit and join the race here's the new piece we just added we've replaced uh, the short end section with no lane changing and now we've got a single lane change which clips the corner ah oh, thank you very much there bad drivers here so we got them in ghost mode again and apparently the ghosts aren't very good drivers <laughs> so here we go coming around the corner so we've got that single lane change on over there and on this side we have a pit lane and this pit lane extends all the way around the back all the way up to here before you re-enter that allows at least five or six cars as Peter's just demonstrated with the green car he's in the pit lane now there he goes he's back in the pit lane again so adding this section now means you've got um, every digital track section that we currently uh, design and build you've got the LA section here and you've got the center section here with a double crossover and then you've got the RA with the single crossover here All right, we have another feature um, with our digital hybrid system and that is that these lane changes can be reversed so if you're going in the opposite direction they've just got screws underneath holding these pieces down and once they're popped out 
they can be rotated around at 180 degrees and reinserted and the screws replaced underneath. And now we're going the opposite direction. It's as simple as that.